5G, the fifth generation standard for mobile communications, whose speed is around 20 times faster than existing methods. First introduced in 2020, 5G is spreading and is now being used in various sectors. 5G, the next big wave in information technology, is really engulfing the world and will make a big difference in our daily lives. With its rollout comes something that will be a worldwide requirement. This is the demand for ultra-compact and high-performance components to be installed in 5G devices. High performance and ultra compact. We spoke to a Japanese company that is taking on this difficult challenge. Here at Murata Manufacturing, they are currently engaged in a variety of challenges to meet the growing need for components driven by 5G. Condenser, inductor, coarse filter. あるいはセンサーデバイスといった小型高機能の限界にチャレンジするといった取り組みが一つでもう一つはあの通信モジュールパワーモジュールあるいはバッテリーモジュールに見られるような高機能の部品を組み合わせてお客さんが使いやすい部品あるいはソリューションに仕上げるという取り組みになります。The challenge is to develop high performance components that are ultra compact. There are some components that have been created as a result of that challenge. The world's largest size, 0.25mm x 0.125mm, is a small size condenser with 0.1 microfarad. It is a world's largest size condenser. This is a new type of capacitor that is the smallest in the world with the largest capacitance. Yet, it looks no bigger than this grain of sand. Currently, there are no smaller electronic components. Inside is a stack of more than 100 ceramic sheet layers, maximizing electricity storage capacity to the ultimate limit. What sort of component is a capacitor? コンデンサーというのは古くからあるものなんですけれども2枚の金属板の間に絶縁体を挟み込んだ構造をとっておりましてこの中に電気を蓄えることができるという構造をとっておりますカパシタルは非常に多くのエレクトロニクスこのコンポーネントは多くのエネルギーの種類を持っていますそれは、エネルギーの種類を持っていますそれは、エネルギーの種類を持っていますリデューシングのサイズオブカパシタルインオールエレクトロニクスイズバイタル。例えば身の回りで最も使われているスマートフォンを例にとりますと、この中に、え、コンデンサーは約1000個を超えるような数が搭載されるモデルも、え、中には出
Today, 5G is driving the need for ultra-compact capacitors worldwide. 当社の試算ですけれども、その需要は年間3兆個以上とも言われています。この旺盛な需要に応えるために、国内に工場のみならず、海外工場の増産体制も確保していまして、増産していく計画を立てております。The day is fast approaching when cutting edge capacitors created in Japan will be changing society by making electronics smaller across the globe. あらゆる電子製品にはコンデンサーが搭載されていますこのコンデンサーが小さくなることにより身の回りにあるあらゆる電化製品がより小型になりより便利な社会が実現できるというふうに思っております Demand for ultra compact and high performance components is growing with the introduction of 5G. Murata Manufacturing makes a range of different components to support this kind of high tech. For example, high frequency filters that attenuate specific signal frequencies while allowing other higher frequencies to pass, and power amplifiers that amplify output. Additionally, The company continues to develop one compact, high performance component after the other, such as millimeter wave modules that support 5G and LPWA modules that enable low power consumption and communication over long distances. In recent years, the company has developed a new substrate called MetroCirc. MetroCirc という新しい樹脂多層基板を開発しました。この製品の特徴としてはシート1枚が非常に薄いので積層した後の製品も非常に薄く折り紙のように折り曲げられる基板となっています。Substrates are components that form the base of all electronic devices with various parts fixed to them that are connected with wires. Generally, substrates are hard, but MetroCirc is very flexible and can be folded like origami. For example, you can fold it into a beautiful shape like this origami crane. But why is this flexibility to be able to bend a substrate significant? MetroCirc was developed to allow the small spaces left in devices, such as smartphones, to be put to the fullest possible use. In fact, as well as its flexibility, it has another characteristic feature. MetroCirc は高周波信号を低損失で連想するというのが最大のメリットとなってまして、周波数が高ければ高いほどその強みが発揮されます。5G で用いられる周波数帯というのは非常に周波数が高いですのでメトロサークはより効率的な信号の伝送を実現することが可能となります。And there is one more component that is the focus of attention. This is the battery, a key component that powers many electronics. It is predicted that 5G will help the advancement of IoT devices. That can connect various things to the internet, and we will need batteries that can support these devices. Given this, Murata Manufacturing, a company that already makes various kinds of batteries, has developed a new type of battery called a solid state battery. This is a solid state battery. こちら見ていただきますと分かりますようにこれまでの電池とは全く異なる見た目をしている通り従来の電池を作る技術では実現は難しくてですね我々はさまざまな製品のですね材料プロセス設備の技術者が集まってチームを作って初めてこの全固体電池を実現しました。Some people may think that ordinary batteries are solid, but inside They contain a liquid called a liquid electrolyte, which is used to move electricity around inside the battery. Developing a solid electrolyte to replace the liquid electrolyte and producing a solid state battery 
has always been considered very difficult. But this time, the company succeeded by bringing together cutting-edge technologies. How does a solid-state battery perform? This shows a solid-state battery being heated with burners. Batteries made with conventional electrolyte run the risk of igniting at extremely high temperatures. However, this solid-state battery uses non-flammable solid electrolyte rather than liquid electrolyte, and it never catches fire. Moreover, it has even been confirmed to work at high temperatures, something that has been impossible with conventional batteries. As a result, the solid-state battery is expected to be used in wearable devices that require a higher degree of safety, and in high-temperature environments where the use of batteries has so far been impossible. まあ、将来的にはまあ、the fifth generation communication standard is changing society as it continues to expand from one area of use to another. In Japan, Companies have even started research on 6G, which will be the next communication standard after 5G. Everywhere, a wide range of components is now being developed to support these high-speed communication networks. Device components that we rarely see are about to change our lives with their power. 5G、IoT、さらにはそれに続く6G といった技術革新が起こる中で、近い将来音声認識、あるいは as small components are putting 5G into practical use, challenges will continue to develop them further for 6G.